Um, sorry, been managing the little one uh, who's been just giving me lots of grief. So I'm still getting the area set up. Uh, so please don't mind me. Um, and it's also laundry day, which I'm responsible for. Uh, so I hope you're getting ready for this 30 minute EMOM cause we doing it again. It's 30 minute EMOM time. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited for that. Wife is joining today. Um, and I just need a moment so that I don't lose my mind. No, and I get, holy smokes, the comments are blown up. Uh, three exercises for that. Okay, so, hello, Farmies from NorCal. Uh, missed Wednesday live workout. I had to do it alone yesterday, less on how much I rely on you all. It makes a big difference, doesn't it? Um, uh, also, fun stuff to do Shane's workout at different times. Not all the time we have the option uh, when I'm doing it. Yeah, it's true. Why is it so much harder without everyone? I was failing miserably yesterday. It's just group exercise just makes such a difference it's crazy um i like i said i am a team athlete through and through being with people so much more committed than i'm doing it solo i love doing this together and live with shane makes me feel very connected love that kevin from devon um well said definitely one of those uh, i have a friend from my cross box that once this corona left us without a club he just stopped workout also because he likes to work out with other people yeah same reason uh danny have your friend join us here um amrap well, technically, EMOM, Denise, technically EMOM. Uh, Hubby and I are ready. Surely we can survive three and 30. Absolutely. It's just 10 rounds, right? Uh, at least you tried, Danny. By the way, I forgot my wash today. I Again, toddler, give me a handful today. Sure. I told another girl that is on my CrossFit uh, one round. Uh, hello, sweat buddies. Greeting from rainy Zurich. Oh, soaking the sunshine through the screen today. We definitely have plenty to give right now. Um Let's see, Erica, hello everyone, happy to be back with PDP Army, took the last two days to knock out an interior house painting project, ooh, that's fun, I love house projects, um, how are things in the US, seem to be going okay right now, Joao, hello everyone, welcome Joao, uh, California, still figuring things out, aren't we all, I see cross fingers, that will be over soon, good afternoon everyone, uh, Nancy's here, Danny's here, okay, all right, scroll through those comments real quickly, <laughs> um, so, Today's EMOM is going to have one suck factor, which is going to be uh, TBD on that. I haven't told you yet. Next, we're going to have an aerobic factor. Uh, Kenneth, greetings from the Netherlands. Love it. Agnes, uh, Kenneth, hey, Shane, enjoy working on my new row life with Dark Horse. Yes. Um, so we're going to have one aerobic element, the bike. I'm choosing the bike. You choose something else. I'm going to give you, obviously, modifications for everything. Um, next, we're going to have a suck factor. I'm going to call those burpees, okay? So there's going to be a burpee element to this as well. Uh, and then we are going to do lunges, okay? With weight, if possible. So if you have the option to do weight, then I would love to see you using weight as you go through the workout. Um, I am going to make some adjustments here. Like I said, the gym is not set up as it normally is. Uh, make sure everything's in camera that looks okay for now okay let me pull down the rack by the way if you guys ever are needing a squat rack for home i cannot suggest the rack that i have prx performance this is a fantastic fantastic rack and it just takes up like no space how nice is that uh, let me check on wife. Wife? Okay, they disappeared. Uh, no idea where they went. But um, so it's going to be aerobic, burpee, and a lunge. Now, let's talk through what all of the things can and should be. On the aerobic piece, it can be a run in place. Oh, I was wondering where you went. Okay. Um, it can be a run in place. So you could. I knee for me. You could also do a toe tap element, which I've actually become quite fond of in these times. So setting a surface out in front of you and just make sure you can see the surface and you are toe tapping. Okay. 
So I have become a fan of that. I think it's a really great way of um, creating a running or an aerobic scenario when you don't have it to you. Of course, if you have your rower, you can row this piece. The objective, what I'm looking for on this element in particular, is that the movement takes you 30 to 40 seconds. That's the range that I'm looking for. So inside of 30 to 40 seconds, you have to determine about how long. And in fact, we could even say it's just a 40 second um, kind of, we could basically just say that it could be just 40 seconds on whatever your selected exercise is uh, and just give 20 seconds of rest. Um, after that, we're going to go into the burpee. So I'm going to call it, I believe last time I did five burpees or I think I did six last time. So just to really increase the non-fun factor, I'm going to take it up to eight. <laughs> um, okay, well, I'll go seven. I'll go up by one. I'll, I'll do seven. I'll do seven burpees. But again, your my goal for you is that you scale the number of burpees so that you are in the 25 to 40 second range. Okay, that's what I want you to think about when you're actually uh, executing on the burpees. Next, oh, this thing is just kind of not. I just have like a, it's never mind. I'll figure out. So uh, next, after the burpees, we have a lunge. I am going to be doing uh, a barbell loaded lunge. Okay. Now on the lunge, you can take any alternate that you want. It can be a forward lunge. It can be a backward lunge. It could be a lateral lunge if you really want to. Okay. But what we're going to be doing is what did we do last time? Sorry, guys. This is part of the I had absolutely no time to prep for this. Um, I knew what movements I wanted, but the rep schemes, I'm having to sit here and sort out. Uh, on the lunge, I think we'd be doing five per leg, 10 total. So that's what we're going to do. Five per leg, 10 total. Okay. And I want that weighted. If you can weight that, please do. Choose a weight that should be relatively heavy and give you a challenge. Um, and that's today's workout. Every minute on the minute for 30 minutes. Bike or row or run or some some alternative. What? Bike, burpee, lunge. Bike, burpee, lunge. Or row, burpee, lunge. Or run, burpee, lunge. Uh, let me just check in with the comments here. Uh, burpees. Wow, that is cool. Folding rack. Yeah, it's really nice. Takes up no space. So it's intended for you to put it in a garage where you would still, if you wanted to, park a car. I don't park a car in here. But uh, Scott, Nate's calling from another room. <laughs> uh, Joanne, you should see that report on dreams during the lockdown. Uh, perfect. Burpees. Doing homeschool, so I'll have to come back and watch your workouts have transformed me in just a month. Kathleen, that's amazing. I love that. You're welcome. Um, so, guys, go ahead and start getting your space set up. Uh, as you're doing that, I'm going to start throwing in the warm-up so that we can start to warm up together and then get started in the workout. Wife is doing her thing. I'm sure she'll, she'll jump in uh, when she's ready. But, yes, we will be on different stations. Are you going to put weight on your bar? I'm going to put weight on the bar. I would suggest grabbing a kettlebell and doing like a, a for you, okay. or did you want to do a barbell? I like because I want to put it on my back. I don't like this movement. I think it's pretending it was like this. Like to balance out. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I can I can clean a bar, a heavy barbell, and do just fine. And do a barbell front loaded rack back. or back rack. Yeah. Okay. I can just clean the empty barbell. It'll be fine. Okay. Oh. We just got to figure out how to negotiate it. Maybe it'll go like here. I'm just gonna make it. Yeah, over there, maybe. <laughs> Guys, this is probably the most discombobulated you're going to see me. I literally came to the workout like no, no, no. 30 seconds way, before the workout started. You had a bomb thrown at you yeah. over and over again about a dress length. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not that you weren't prepared. Daughter did not want her dress to touch her shorts. That was a good 20 minutes of screaming, of screaming and crying before this workout started. Oh, so, so, yeah. yeah. There's a lot happening, everybody. Uh, all right, let's start warming up um, so that we can get our heads ready and set for what this workout is going to be. I even forgot my watch. I don't even have I'll that going. Uh, oh, thank you. That was not why I said it like that. Mm -hmm. 
I okay. just don't know where I'd find my watch. Okay, right so let's start with a perfect stretch, guys, standing in place, giving me a nice big knee hug, drop out into a lunge, bring that elbow inside of the leg, rotate, yes, thank you, uh, it's plugged in, rotate, I got it over there, hand up to the ceiling, bring those hands back down, straighten the front leg, feel the pull through the hamstring, stand up, and switch sides. Would anybody have any objections to me going shirtless in today's workout? It's hot already. I'm feeling mildly just overrun by child energy. And I don't know why, but something about just being free, as free as possible, sounds really nice. State your objections now. I will listen. We're going to do three of these per side. And it's laundry day, too, so it's like <laughs> I have a million things happening right now, you guys. Ugh. Trying to sell a car. I have people coming to. She's even all excited about the applesauce. Please be in the meeting. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much for the watch. All right. All right. Let's check out those comments. A dumbbell, 22 and a half kilo to put it on back or hold it in the front rack. Either is fine. With a ket If you had a kettlebell, I would do a goblet squat style. I would hold it and do a forward lunge. That would be me, Danny. Ready to roll in Pennsylvania. Love a triple cap, Shane. Don't forget your water bottle. It's here. Hi, everyone just coming. Hopefully don't miss important things. Wife will not mind. Shirtless. Ah, uh, no. Shirtless is fine. Pants. Pants are important. <laughs> yes. Got the shorts. We're good there. Um, okay, next let's do a lateral lunge. And this one's just going to be a little bit more dynamic. So step out to the side, drive your leg up. We're just going to do five per leg. I'm just doing five instead of alternating. I'm just doing all five on one leg because I have no room over here with all the laundry right now. You see guys, this is a real place. <laughs> this is our real house. I actually live in this. And one day a week I am doing laundry while working because my desk is six feet from the laundry pile. Okay. Next, let's inchworm it out. Hands down to the floor. Keep those legs straight. Walk yourself out into a push-up. Give me a push-up and walk your way back. Let's do five of those. That's one. Two, three, four, five. All right. Now let's just get some practice burpees in. Um, I do like to actually prime a burpee it's just so we can all get on the same page. So, and I also like to actually teach the burpee as far as like high rep burpees go sometimes. Um, just, I think it's a good skill to learn. So something that I want you guys to think about as you do your burpees today, <clears throat> as you bring your hands to the floor, I want you to imagine folding at the hip, fold, 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 slight bend in the knee. Try to bring your hands as close to the floor as possible. And from here, right as they're about to get to the floor, you're going to jump out into a plank, essentially. And then from there, you're just going to use your arms to lower you to the floor as seamlessly as possible. Okay. Next up, I'm going to have you press up into a seal or sphinx pose, basically. Okay. So you're creating this stretch through your abdomen. From there, you're going to bring, put your weight on your toes and you're going to keep your hands in place and try and bring your feet, jump your feet as close to your hands as possible. Okay. From that position, it's just stand, jump and clap. Cool. Does that make sense? So if you will with me, please just give me five burpees. Okay. We're going to do five burpees in place, slow and for technique, not for time. So we'll count that first one. So this will be two. 
Four. Five. Okay. Um, that's our burpee. Okay. Next up, does everybody have your machine settled for what your aerobic piece is going to be? If so, let me know. Drop it into the comments. I want to know what your option is going to be for that. What? Oh, perfect. So what do you want to start on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the order, guys, the order is going to be aerobic. So bike for me, but in a row, run, whatever you choose. Um, aerobic, lunge, burpee, aerobic. Okay. Hope that makes sense. You got that? Babe? What's up? Um, aerobic, lunge, burpee, aerobic. Right. That way we stay in the same order. And so one of us starts at a different station and we'll always make sure that we're offset. What do you want to start on? I'll start in the right order. It's aerobic. So you'll start. Are you doing something else? We can do it at the same time because I'm coming up with your bike. I might be this one. Uh huh. And then we can go at the same time. Okay. We can go at the same time. No, that's fine. That's good. Okay, can you guys see me when I'm on the screen? There we go. I'll take it. Okay, so let's check in. What's everybody doing for their aerobic choices here? Ready, row machine. Ready to bike, row. Ready to row. A salt bike and rower, wife and I sharing. Nice, Scott. Good job. Rowing, rower, row, row. Uh, yep, bike. No kids. Today's our date. Love it, Scott. That's amazing. And you guys are joining us. We don't really have a date. We're doing laundry and we've got a kid today. But you're, 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 they're having a date day and they're working out with us. Uh, uh, row for me. Air bike for Keith. Say hi to Keith, everyone. He has the day out. Hey, Keith. Welcome. Uh, okay. I keep run in place. Love it. Yeah. Um, okay. Let me set up my barbell so that I can get the lunge going. I am taking the same weight that I took last week for the lunge. Not scaling up. <laughs> Wife's all over the board right now. Okay, so five lunges per leg, okay? It's gonna be seven burpees. Obviously, scale as needed. And then it is going to be, let's just call it a 40 second effort, okay? So I will just call that timing, um, the 40 seconds. Then let me restart this. I'll just start and tell you when we're done, okay? So you're just gonna go for 40 seconds. Um, as with any EMOM workout, your objective, get it done as fast as possible so that you earn your rest time. Obviously, with a 40-second effort, you can't do that, but don't use that as a rest station. The goal is still that you're pushing and working hard there. Okay, so we're starting on our machines. Then we go to the lunge. Then we burpee. Are you ready? I am. Okay, I'm going shirtless for this. It's hot. <laughs> Got it. Thank you. Okay, guys, here we go. Settle on to your machine. We're going to get this thing started. That'd be great. Thanks. Going headband today. No haircuts. Okay. In three, two, one. Oh, hold on. Three, two. Oh, come on. Watch failing me now. Three, two, one. Go. All right.
Three, two, one, easy. Punch. 10 seconds. Again, five per leg. Five, three, two, one, go. Be careful how your noises come across on the mic. <laughs> what are your traps so sore from? Oh. 10 seconds, guys. Oh, yeah. Getting ready for burpees. Five, three, two, one, go. I could probably do eight. It'll it'll ease up. I think I'm going to scale up to eight on my burpees next round. That felt a little, felt a little shy. <laughs> 11, yeah, I love when people do that. Just three rounds, right? No, no, 30 minutes. Going in five, two, one, go. Three, two, one, rest. Lunges next. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, go. So I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram post yesterday, but check this out. Windbreakers with dark horse rowing on them and patches that I had made probably four or five years ago. Sorry, we're going in three, two, one, go burpees. So I had them made like four or five years ago. We sold them online for a while and I just completely forgot about them. Well, we changed to a different printing company 
And the guy that did these messaged me the other day and said, yo, I was just cleaning out my garage and I found this box of stuff. Do you want it? I was like, yeah, send it. I forgot how cool this stuff was. These jackets have the, have the um, patches sewn on them. So now I have all this stock. I don't know what to do with it. Sorry, we're going in three, two, one, go. I mean, I imagine I'm gonna sell it, but I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that. And there's a t-shirt as well that came with it that I still love. I think it's a great shirt. Um, so I have all this stock now of windbreakers, patches, shirts. So fun to see, it's a blast from the past. Three, two, one, easy. Sorry, going in three, two, one, go. I saw some kind of comment about a sweatshirt. Didn't have any on the website. I'll totally take a windbreaker. Oh, show shirt, please. Okay. Burpee's coming up in a second here. Check this out. And they are so comfortable. I still have mine. I still wear it sometimes. You'll catch it in videos occasionally. Going in two, one, go. So, yeah, that's the shirt. Man, these things are so comfortable too. <laughs> I wish I could like give you the feel of how soft they are, because they cool. 15 seconds, onto our lunges. Oh, you're right, we did burpees. Onto the your aerobic machine, everybody. Going in three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, easy. Now it's on the lunges. Two shirts XL, that is. We would love to wear a shirt and windbreaker. I will find a way, sorry, going in three, two, one, go. I will find a way to get them online for you guys. Um, yeah, I'll find a way. The only issue is then 
I end up manually shipping them all. But I guess that's fine. It'd be fun to send them to you guys. Um, yeah. But anyway, it's just super cool, like blast from the past. We also have a couple women's tanks that I think are the same design as that blue one, but they're dark gray with like a light gray DH. Going in two, one, go. There's that yawn. So this is the tank. It's a, it's a push, don't pull. With the logo on the back. 15 seconds. To your machines. I think I only have like three of those tanks in the box. Going in five, three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, easy. James, I'll drive to San Diego to get one. Then when we can pay a ship, I want a woman's tank instead. Going in three, two, one, go. I lazy, got lazy on that one. So, I wish I had enough tanks for you guys. Um, I'll take three names. Ultimate Home Shopping Network. Nancy, I knew you would want at least one. Those are cool. Yeah, I think I only, I'll count. When we get done, we'll go through it together. Three, two, one, burpees. Yeah, we'll sit down. We'll go through inventory. Twenty seconds. This one's not nearly as bad as last week's, I feel you guys. Maybe it's just me. I feel like that we did more lunges last time. Or maybe we all just got incredibly fit this last week. Going in three, two, one, go.
three, two, one, easy. Lunges. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, go. Starting round six, we got this. What's the weight on the barbell? Um, <laughs> Amazon delivers fans, I know. Uh, 115 on the bar. 115 is what I've got, Dean. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. I know they did deliver fans, Denise. Um, we have a fan inside actually. What I care more about, I can kind of work in the heat, is the mosquitoes. They start to eat me alive. Still in the house. I never brought it out. Okay, you got 15 seconds, 10 seconds. She's going to get the fan, you guys. Thanks for triggering. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, easy. Uh huh. We can't get away from out here. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Twisted Cindy was way worse. <laughs> I appreciate that you knew what we were doing. And Twisted, yeah, true. But Twisted Cindy, Cindy there's like no rest. Going in 10 seconds, guys. With Twisted Cindy, we would have been done right now. Going in three, two, one, go. I think it's time to take a sip of water. Ah. 
Okay, 15 seconds. Yeah, feels great. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, easy. Two lunge. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, go. Let's switch. <laughs> really? <laughs> Apparently our neighbor is doing hill sprints with wife when she goes to take her run. 10 seconds. Five. Two, one, go. Boy. How you holding up, guys? How you holding up? I also want to show this in my 15 seconds, guys. Five, three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, easy. Bunches up. Ten seconds. <laughs> Five, three, two, one, go. Pretty good guys. Good work. Moment of hydration.
Ten seconds to burpees. Five, three, two, one, go. Last round here, guys. Last round. Whew. Last round, guys. Finish strong. Improve everything by one rep. Means do one more burpee, one more set of lunges per leg, okay? We're gonna go five seconds longer on our aerobic. Two, one, go. So we're going for 45 seconds, you guys. Ten seconds. Two, one, easy. One extra, one extra rep of lunge per leg. So we're doing six per leg in five, three, two, one, go. <laughs> One extra burpee means nine for me. How many for you? Six for wife. Know your number, guys. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one. Go. Oh, something. How do you guys like that finish? All right, come here. Do you want to show it to? Wow, that's a beautiful. Do you want to show everybody? No, no, this is a shark. It's a shark. Do you want them to see it? Yeah. Okay, come here. Oh, I should do a shark for you guys. Hold it up. She drew a shark, guys. This one's for you, and she wanted to show you. Good work, Hans. You good? There you go. I know. I, I am sweaty. I know. I'm very sweaty. Here. Here. Hans, take your shark. Shark. <laughs> I 
pot, tired, keep going. Melting like a pot of gold. Summer bot, here I come. Ouch. Close to my goals every day, yes, Nancy. Wow, thought that was the left. Nice art. <laughs> Thanks, Joe Cap. Oh, so sweet. Nice lines. Thank you, little one. Everybody says thank you, Kenny. They love your work. Now I'll be singing Baby Shark all day. Baby Shark, baby Shark, baby Shark, baby Shark. Mommy shark do 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 do. Uh, I look like a fountain drop. Yeah, <laughs> I'm with you. I finally made it back to hair 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 bands, hair ties. And this isn't a hair tie. This is a headband. I used to have when we first had my daughter. My hair was actually pretty long. Um, this gets unruly. I can't manage it. I'm ready to go back. I'm ready for a haircut. <laughs> If you play Baby Shark, do a burpee every time the character changes. Saw it on the Tonight Show. <laughs> I like that. Thankfully, we've passed that phase. Uh, and we've also passed uh, the, um, the uh, what's the other one? Oh, the frozen. You don't say that word anymore because it's a trigger now. Frozen. Yeah, don't say it. We, we made it through that phase as well. So... <laughs> Yikes, ugly finish for me. Oh, Leah, what happened? What happened? I did a PB on my 2K yesterday. Yes, Nancy, 145. It's all this making it happen. That's incredible, Nancy. Congrats, and especially with the volume that you do to be able to PR 2K, that's great. Oh, I got sweat. My, my, my sweat is so salty. Ah, ah, so salty. Love that workout. Thank you. You're welcome, Danny. Congrats, Nancy. Oh, oh, okay. So yeah, I told you guys we'd go through the inventory. Let's should we oh, should we unbox together? Give me a second. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you. No, no, I don't want to get the whole shirt sweaty. I'm gonna wear it later. I'm gonna at least these are just dry my eye. I feel your pain on the hair department. It's as if I have a lion's mane. Yeah. Um, what is a strict, easy to follow diet you suggest for someone that needs to lose? 30 pounds, stinky potatoes. That's a loaded, a loaded question, but everything in moderation, including moderation. I am not an advocate of any particular dogma, um, and I don't believe that you should go so headlong into one nutrition plan or one way of eating um, that you can't find your way out. Like, right, for example, back in the day when I was coaching, paleo was the thing. We all went paleo for like four years, hyper strict. Well, guess what? There are a lot of things that we've learned experimented with my body, learned what worked and what didn't for me. And at the end of the day, paleo is not right for everyone. And it can get skewed really easily in the wrong direction where you just eat copious amounts of protein or fats. Um, so my advocate, what I encourage, uh, <laughs> not, did I say it wrong? Stinky, wait. Yeah. Not, oh yeah. Don't eat stinky potatoes. I got it. No, so here's, here's my suggestion. Number one, make the majority of your plate as often as possible vegetables. Simple. In any format, unless they've been like coated in cheese and dairy, right? Like, let's keep it simple. If you can see it in its original form and it's pretty un, un, like, unmutilated, uh, I get it, Nancy. It took me a second. So uh, that's great. The majority of your plate. So maybe half. Quarter of your plate can be protein. Quarter of your plate can be carbohydrates. Pretty, keep them pretty simple, um, right? Like the, and then as a general principle, keep things as unproduced as possible. So the goal is eat as many foods in their original form as you possibly can. And that includes grains or carbohydrates. So we could say, you know, potatoes, stinky potatoes, sweet potatoes, whatever you will. Um, if you're going to eat bread, if you're going to wife is just right behind the camera, just let out like a huge yawn. Um, so, you know, if you're going to eat bread, keep it very simple. Like buy high quality bread if you can. Um, otherwise, half the plate vegetables, quarter protein, quarter carbohydrates. For the most part, you're going to be okay. I've never seen anybody uh, need to lose weight while eating too many vegetables. I'll put it that way. So, oh yeah. And also always watch the, the drinks. The sugars sneak in in a lot of places. So, 
See, this is where I this is where I don't believe most dogmatic nutrition plans because you know, people say like don't eat after sundown. I I have a big snack every night like right before I go to bed. Every night. My body's fine with that. So for some people it may not be okay. So that's why I say there's no real like don't die don't go so hard into like one way that you can't see yourself out, that you can't learn about it and realize that it may have its own, you know, errors and ways that don't work and that you need to supplement or find, you know, other areas. Uh, I do have a concept to roar up to a 2K test in the program. I'm going to give that a go tomorrow. Yes, Scott, get it. Do it. Um, good luck, Scott. Maybe prepare special music for that to keep you going. It's true. Yeah, we will do, Danny. Reduce processed foods and added sugars whenever possible, yeah. You'd be amazed where sugar sneaks into things, guys. Like, so many sauces, areas where it has no place being, and they just put it in. So, uh, check the Dark Horse playlist on Spotify. Yes, uh, DH Crew Life Archive is a great one for just lots of good workout music. DH, three words. DH, four words. Crew Life Archive. <laughs> Uh, nice info, man. Thanks for the awesome answer. I usually fill my plate too much with meat. I'll swap it with veggies. Yeah, just lots of vegetables. You really can never go wrong with eating as many pure foods from our earth as possible. Uh, Danny, no, I don't have it on, on Apple. Uh, I'll check that on Instinct. I love meat. It's all in moderation, in my opinion. Balanced diet and less sugars. Everything in moderation, including moderation, folks. Um, exactly. I also, you know, it's why, like, I don't have a problem with somebody going vegan, but at the same time, like, you have to understand the, the human structure. Like, I, I totally understand people's decisions behind why, why, why you would go vegan, especially if it has to do with treatment of animals, as well as, like, the mass consumption of meat and how that's become our, like, primary food source and, and all those things. It's why, you know, growing your own food is a fantastic way to go um, because you learn about the food that you eat and you know where it's sourced from and comes from. And anyways, uh, still need to collect my 2k never have goal is seven minutes. James, how have you, you of all people have never done a 2k today. Go do a 2k. Don't think about it. Just go pick my sub seven minute 2k on, on YouTube and just do it. What are you waiting for? Uh, Denise, learning exactly what is in your food is always a good thing. I would recommend almond milk over regular milk, but maybe Shane can weigh in on that. Um, do it so much fun. James, almond milk discussion versus, uh, regular milk. You know, like I'm lactose intolerant, uh, adult onset lactose intolerance. That was terrible because I loved ice cream. Still love ice cream. Um, but, uh, you know, for some people, dairy is fine. Um, almond milk, great, but almond milk also, almonds require a mat, a copious amounts of water to grow. So maybe you consider oat milk. Do we need milk? Have you ever eaten cereal with water? It's really not that bad. Um, you know, there are, there are things that we've kind of been like trained to do. What was that? Oh, the little one is doing tire flips with the BOSU ball right now. Um, so, you know, those are, that's, that's why I say like, don't just prescribe to one, always keep your mind open, always be learning. There are things change every other day. Um, so frozen bananas. Yeah. That's what we always have frozen bananas in the freezer here. Wife loves to take a, a bar of chocolate, like a really high quality bar of chocolate, melt it down and then just like drizzle it over a frozen banana. And I understand chocolate has trace amounts of dairy in it. So, so that's sometimes a risk I'm willing to take, you know, uh, maybe before long, we could do a group 2K, including warm up before and CPR afterwards. Uh, that's funny. Let's go. Thank you all so much. Monday. Uh, yeah. Still on for Monday. Guys, don't forget, if you're loving this, please go sign up for Project X. We finally decided on a name. We are calling it, I don't believe Kitsch is here. Um, the grown-up drink is water. It's true, Joao. Uh, we have a name for the group, for the new program, um, that Special Project X. is. We are calling it the Dark Horse Method. And I realized that we sat on it for like several days. And I realized I had actually wanted to build the Dark Horse Method years ago and I actually, I actually own the name the domains the darkhorsemethod.com and darkhorsemethod.com there's still nothing on them currently but we decided that that was the right name so this new group dark horse method sign up uh not in the links below i will add them later in the description but on wednesday tuesday monday 
the signups are over there. So make sure you go sign up for those. Um, smash that like button. I'm going to go. You want to do credit card? Out. Okay. Uh, you got a baby? You got a baby in your belly? Um, I will go the DHM. Exactly. Dark Horse Method. Unboxing. Mercy Shots. Okay. Okay. I'll go get the box. I'll get the box. Let's see what we got. I think it's only those items that I mentioned, but I also haven't. Okay. This is what you guys get for hanging out. Your special price. Okay, so I already showed you the tank. All right, so these are the patches. So many. Whoa. Ah, it'll fill out. I guess I have easily, I don't know, 50? Maybe 50 patches in here? That's my best guess. So these are the patches again. They're not iron-on. They're uh, sew-on. Um, put the shirt on, kiddo, and you will sell out. We actually have kids' shirts on the site. Oh, I'm, I'm not holding it in front of the camera. Uh, so there's the patch. I love it. Like, it's funny. The other day, didn't I mention, like, these are my favorite shorts. I have a patch sewed on them. This is the patch. I thought I had no more. I thought they were, like, done forever. But no, uh, that's the patch. You can put it on everything. Like, put them, I put them on my backpacks. They're everywhere. Uh, okay, so then on the tanks, I showed you the tank. This one is a large women's racerback tank. One, I have two larges, okay, so there's another large. Then, okay, on the, on the T, this is a small, okay. You love the Pat H? What's the Pat H? Okay, so then the windbreakers, God. I literally, I don't even think I ever listed these, you guys, you guys. Like, I had these made, and I never listed them. It's like a rain, it's a very lightweight windbreaker that's waterproof, so it's got this nice mesh hoodie, a uh, nice mesh hood. This one's a large. I literally, I don't even think I ever sold them. It's got, um, has side pockets, so it's got the hip pockets, like the waist pockets, and it has a drawstring around the waist, so you can tighten it down. That's a large. Let me see how many of those I have. One, and they have the patch sewn on already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to guess, I'm ballparking like 12. I have 12 of the windbreakers. Sizes unknown. Oh, man, and I have like yeah, this many of the shirts. I think that's it. Size-wise, small, 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 XL, 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 medium, 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 large, large, large. So it looks like we got like most sizes here, most size available. So yeah, I have two large tanks. Other than that, plenty of tees, um, and then the windbreakers. How do I sell these, you guys? How do you want? How do you want to do this? How do I make them available to you? Because I got to figure out shipping to wherever you are, right? That part's important. And then um, the price on them, because these are now like these are dead stock, guys. This is a big deal. Um, I guess our cur our current shirts and tanks are thirty dollars, so we'll do. And then the windbreaker, I'd say. Because it's got the patch sewn on already, printed on the back. I'm going to say 50 for the windbreaker, I think. eBay? Send a note to support Etsy. I mean, I can probably list them on our Woo WooCommerce site. Um, want a tank, please? I won't hog them all. I love the patch, too. Uh, your boy needs one of those. How much for two XL shirts? You can set them aside for Keith and Denise. eBay, send a note to support Etsy. Danny in Ireland. Equals a large uh, dark horse method should get windbreaker. You know, uh, Erica, it's funny. We actually talked about that. I think we may set the windbreakers aside for dark horse method group. Um, we at, literally after when I posted on Instagram, Kitch was like, dude, those have to go to the dark horse method group. And I think it's actually kind of perfect because uh, I think as far as like how many we're going to let in, it'll probably be exactly right. The only question is making sure we have enough sizes the right sizes. So 
Um, we do like a competition for a prize. That could be fun. For the patches, maybe. I love those patches. Man, I got to put them on more of my stuff. I love having the patches. They're so, they're great. They're great. And those, those t-shirts, I seriously wish I could like give you the feel of how soft that t-shirt is. Unbelievable. It says, it says dry land rowing club right there. Dark horse rowing established 2015. Five years got five years this year. Wow. Hi all. I did not see the notification for this one. I'm just off of a one hour rowing workout following three of your videos, 10 minutes, 30 minutes and 20 minutes. Nice job, Fred. That's a good one. Um, so maybe what I'll do is I will just like hand take photos of these, load the inventory into our, our shipping processor, um, WooCommerce, and then I can, I guess I'll just have to hand ship them. I guess done it before. I want a patch shirt. How much will shipping <laughs> shipping in Israel? I don't know. I will have to look that one up to That's why I'd probably put it in uh throw names in a hat and pick. I'll probably, uh, have to put it in our, our, like, our website shop um because if i do the web shop then it should probably calculate i think it'll calculate uh shipping for you guys have kiddo pick <laughs> hey hi okay so that was a fun unboxing uh i hope you guys are as excited as i am i think they're super cool that's a lot like it's such a flashback for me because they're they're at least four years old at least four years old I think I probably had a maid in like 2016, like the year after, because they say established 2015. So probably I had a maid in 2016. Web shop works. Yeah. I'll just, I'll put them, I'll try to, I'll try to figure out how to get them up priced and that, that way it'll calculate shipping for me. And then I'll go manually ship them. That works. Okay. Guys, I love you. It's been great. Um, please, again, if you love these and you want more and you want to really dive in together and go do some amazing like building of you as a dark horse. Sign up for the Dark Horse Method um, if you're interested. Right now, it's all waitlisted. So I believe uh, Kitch and I have been having conversations talking about anybody he's had a call with. So we're kind of talking about who the first 10 are going to be. Um, so if you're interested, the link, I need to get it updated. I'll come and probably put it in the description for yesterday and today. Otherwise, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's in the description for those live videos. And with that being said, I love you all. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And we'll see you, um, I think, on Monday. Later.